a lot of kids um, go to public schools and live in single parent homes and they deal with stress. They talk about the bullying at the school, the constant fights. A lot of our kids don't want to be at home. They don't want to be at school, but they want to be here. I grew up in a tough neighborhood in the west side of Chicago that was pretty bad. Someone decided that sports can change lives and he went to a neighborhood and to a school where his peers said don't go. He went there and he gave me and 20 other kids a shot at the sport of rowing. And it changed my life and I feel like it's a responsibility for me to go back and do the same thing that my coach did 20 years ago. I started off on the team as a little sixth grader who was shy, timid, but this sport really opened me up and allowed me to realize like, wow, I, I am hardworking, I am determined, and I am a leader. They understand that there will be no cheerleaders, there's no spectators, there's no million dollar contract, but one thing that you do have is a group of young people who are willing to break their backs, rip apart their hands, show up six days a week for themselves and the person that sits in the boat with them. Every day I walk in the boathouse, I know nothing's going to be easy. This is challenging and I'm here to compete. I think all the tough times really inspired each of us on the team to take the sport and everything we've learned from it into our schoolwork, into our family life, into our individual life. And it's really pushed us to become the ideal person that we've dreamt of being. People often say to me, it's amazing, you know, what Road New York is doing for our kids. But really, the kids are doing the hard work. No one else can do that but them. In crew, we will, we will forward by looking in the opposite direction. I learned that it's okay to look back. You can look back, and I know it's been tough times, but you have to keep moving forward.